Welcome to Doing History with Vichero and Obsidian. Today I will explain how to use these tools to do archival research. Historians often ask about the latest tools for copying and analyzing archival documents. Their concern is usually to scan as many documents as possible, to store the PDFs and metadata securely, and to find them easily when writing a draft. A scanner app, Zotero and Obsidian can help with that. Zotero is a reference manager that stores all your research documents in one place. Obsidian is a customizable note-taking app that interfaces with Zotero. I prefer them to the alternatives. Tropy is another app that, sh that stores archival photos, and it's pretty sophisticated, but it does not store your secondary sources. It is not a note-taking app or a reference manager. DevonThink is another popular alternative. It stores a variety of documents and notes, but it does not link up with the reference manager as well as Obsidian, so it's not as convenient for writing. To do my archival research, I created my own setup. This is what I'm showing today. My website explains it in more detail. The archival documents I will work with today come from the Albert Johnson papers at the Bancroft Library at the University of California, Berkeley. Albert Johnson was an American film critic, historian, and a programmer for the San Francisco Film Festival. He traveled widely in Asia and Africa as well as Europe. And I'm particularly interested in his travels to Tashkent for the Festival of Asian and African Cinema in the 70s. When I was at Bancroft, I used Scanner Pro on the iPhone to scan all documents from each archival folder into its own PDF file. There are many other options for apps. These apps can automatically align your documents so you can take photos quickly. They usually also offer optical character recognition or CR so any type documents will be searchable, although they cannot OCR the handwritten documents like the one in the picture. In the archives, I take photos of as many documents as I can, and at the end of the day, I end up with PDFs of several archival folders. Today, I will just use one folder as an example. First, I add a folder to Zotero. I name the PDF uh, to include archive abbreviation, it's right here. AGP for Albert Johnson papers, archive location, folder one, uh, box one, folder 15, um, and the short description of what's in the folder, in this case, correspondence from 1972. I drag the PDF into Zotero, then control click on the Mac and choose create parent item. And then manual entry to create an item. Then I clean up to make a, a folder item. I delete the PDF. I add the date to sort properly. Um, in archive, in location and archive fields, I enter information as it should appear in the citation for any document with that within that folder. I change item type to manuscript so it will be identifiable as an archival item in the list view. I add tags, type of source, uh, folder and primary for primary source, um, a subject tag, Albert Johnson, and the name of my research project. To keep trap of, uh, track of collection abbreviations, I create items for every collection I intend to examine. Um, this item will have uh, a full name of the collection, of course. Um, also information about the depository, dates, abbreviation, and the link to the finding aid. Um, I use manuscript item time for these items, but tag them as collection. This is also useful because you can export these collection items into our archive collection section of your bibliography. To keep my folder items easily accessible, I create a safe search folder for the item via advanced search. Uh, set up a search for archive is AGP. and tag 
his folder. Then click Save Search, enter the name of the Save Search, and you're done. And this help, helps me to keep track of what I scanned. I don't delete these folder items or any pages in the PDF, so I process the folders further. Next step is to extract the one document from the folder and add it to the chair. There are many different documents within the folder, but I know that the first letter and invitation to the Tashkent Film Festival I will definitely need. To extract the file, I control click on the folder item and choose show file and then open in preview and drag the pages I need uh, to the folder on my system. Then I just control click and choose duplicate item. This allows me to reproduce archive and location information automatically. I drag the new PDF on top of the item to add it. And then in the PDF view, I change the, uh, the metadata to reflect the document. So February 18 for the date. Um, this is the author of the letter, Kayumov. And Albert Johnson is the recipient. Last thing to do is to delete the tag folder. Um, to make sure that my safe search for folders doesn't include individual items. Now I need to annotate the document. I open it in PDF view. The left pane will display annotations. I highlight as many passages as I, I think is necessary for separate notes. It is better to correct any OCR errors in Zotero before the export because you can compare text to the PDF right here. Now you're ready to import annotations into Obsidian. Before you do, it is important to remember that different annotations from the same source actually might belong in different places in your draft. So I need to split the imported notes with all annotations into several research notes. Pay attention to the keyboard commands that appear in the lower left corner of the screen as I type the shortcuts. I use the command R shortcut to call up the terror search from Obsidian. Then type keywords to find the source and hit enter. choose the source to add the note with the Terra annotations. This note will have all source metadata, including tags. It will also automatically place the date for the letter into the start date field for the event. Add links to two notes I already have for the Tashkent Film Festival and for Albert Johnson. These notes function as a name and event index. Now I select a text that belongs in a separate note and press command Z hotkey. In the prompt, I type the title for my new note about the bureaucracy at the Tashkent Festival. The new research note has source metadata, tags, and the text you selected and the page number for the annotation in the uh, page number field. Now I go back and clean up the original note. I delete the text I don't need, it's part of the import. I moved uh, the link to the new node to the connection sections, which is where it should be. I use markdown code double equal signs to highlight the most significant part of the annotation. 
I add the title to the note that describes its significance, that Johnson was invited to the festival as a special guest. I also highlight the significant part of the other note. The links I added allow me to browse the notes via graph. For example, if I click on the Tashkent Festival note, I will see all research notes, people and films related to that event. The note I added also has uh, a link that takes me to the original annotation in Zotero. Now that you imported your notes, you can search and sort them as you prepare for writing. The regular Obsidian search works well in general. I can find all notes containing the word Johnson, but I will only be able to sort them by title or date modified. But if I use the command S shortcut, I can get to a custom search where I can search by keyword Johnson and sort by multiple fields, including author, title, start date for the event, uh, both in descending and ascending order. You can also search by source fields. For example, I just added a note where Kayumov is the author of the letter, but I can also check if any of my sources have Kayumov as a recipient in there too. They also show that his first name is Aziz. The source I just imported only had his initial. I can open any found note in the search view, but I can also press the command N shortcut to open it in a view where I can see the local graph for the note. I continue to browse through the link notes via the graph as well. To sum up, the workflow helps to keep track of scanned sources, enter metadata so you can cite them correctly, and break the material into individual research notes. You can then process them, tag, index, link, and add your own comments. Then search and sort them to slot into a particular section of your draft and start writing. To try these features, you can you'll need to download Zotero, Obsidian, and the Starter Vault for historians that I made. All these tools are free. You download the vault, the zip file from the GitHub page. Open um, and uh, you have to change the folder title after. So you don't really need master. Move it to the folder that contains all your Obsidian vaults. And then choose open folder as a vault in Obsidian. Choose to trust my plugins and start working. The vault comes with sample notes and directions on how to use it. Enjoy.